It's kind of weird that horror movies are so enjoyable. Why do we take such great pleasure in scaring the hell out of ourselves? If you want to see the darkest horror movies, you should definitely watch our picks for top 10 the best scary horror movies ever made. It's time to grab your favorite movie time snack and try not to get scared. Creep 2017 Creep 2 2017 is an American horror film directed by Patrick Bryce and starring Mark Duplass as Aaron and Desiree Akavan as Sarah, a video artist who makes documentaries about lonely men. She responds to an online ad posted by Aaron, who claims to be a serial killer and wants to make a film about his life. She meets him at his cabin in the woods and agrees to spend the day with him. However, she soon realizes that he is not what he seems and that he has a twisted plan for her. She tries to escape from him and survive his games. The film is rated TVMA and is suitable for fans of found footage horror and thriller films. I'm very excited about it, okay? Low Life 2017 Low Life 2017 is an American horror film directed by Ryan Prowse and starring Nikki Macho as Crystal a motel owner who needs a kidney transplant for her alcoholic husband, Ted, played by Mark Burnham. She contacts her estranged brother-in-law, Teddy Bear Haynes, played by King Orba, a crime boss who runs an organ trafficking ring. He offers her a deal. He will give her a kidney in exchange for her help in kidnapping a pregnant woman named Kaylee, played by Santana Dempsey, who is carrying his child. However, things go wrong when Kaylee's husband, El Monstruo, played by Ricardo Adam Zarati, a luchador with a violent temper and a legacy to uphold, intervenes. He teams up with Randy, played by John Oswald, a disgraced ex-con with a swastika tattoo on his face, and Keith, played by Shay Abgana, a motel employee with a failing music career. They try to save Kaylee and stop Teddy's operation. The film is not rated and is suitable for fans of crime horror and comedy films. Get Out 2017 Get Out 2017 is an American horror film directed by Jordan Peele and starring Daniel Kaluuya as Chris Washington, a black photographer who goes to meet his white girlfriend Rose Armitage's family at their secluded estate. He is welcomed by her parents Dean and Missy, played by Bradley Whitford and Katherine Keener, and her brother Jeremy, played by Caleb Landry Jones. However, he soon notices that something is off about the family and their black servants Walter and Georgina, played by Marcus Henderson and Betty Gabriel. He also meets other black people who act strangely and subserviently around the white guests. He learns that the family is part of a cult that transfers their consciousness into younger black bodies through a procedure called the coagula. He tries to escape from the family and their sinister plan. The film was made with a budget of $4.5 million and grossed $255.4 million at the box office. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of social horror and satire films. No. Anna and the Apocalypse 2017 Anna and the Apocalypse 2017 is a British horror film directed by John McPhail and starring Ella Hunt as Anna Shepherd, a high school student who lives in the town of Littlehaven in Scotland. She wants to travel after graduation, much to the dismay of her widowed father Tony, played by Mark Benton. She also has feelings for her best friend John, played by Malcolm Cumming, who likes her back but is too shy to tell her. On Christmas Eve, a zombie outbreak occurs in the town, turning most of the residents into flesh-eating undead. Anna and John team up with other survivors, such as Steph, played by Sarah Swire, a lesbian aspiring journalist, Chris, played by Christopher Laveau, a film geek, and Steph's friend, Lisa, played by Marley Siu, Chris's girlfriend and a singer, and Nick, played by Ben Wingens, Anna's ex-boyfriend and a bully. They try to reach their school where Tony and other adults are holed up. They also sing and dance along the way, expressing their feelings and fears through musical numbers. The film was made with a budget of 4 million euros and grossed $766,760 at the box office. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of zombie horror and musical films. Replace 2017 
Replace 2017 is a German-Canadian horror film directed by Norbert Kiel and starring Rebecca Forsyth as Kira Mabon, a young woman who suffers from a rare skin disease that causes her skin to age rapidly and peel off. She meets Dr. Raphaela Krober, played by Barbara Crampton, a dermatologist who offers her a treatment that can restore her skin. However, she soon learns that the treatment involves killing other women and grafting their skin onto her own. She becomes addicted to the treatment and starts to lose her memory and identity. She also discovers that Dr. Kroba has a hidden agenda and that she is part of a sinister experiment. She tries to stop Dr. Kroba and reclaim her life. The film is not rated and is suitable for fans of body horror and science fiction films. Gerald's Game 2017 Gerald's Game 2017 is an American horror film directed by Mike Flanagan and starring Carla Gugino as Jessie Berlingame, a woman who goes to a secluded lake house with her husband Gerald, played by Bruce Greenwood, to rekindle their marriage. He handcuffs her to the bed as part of a sex game, but he suffers a heart attack and dies, leaving her trapped. She tries to free herself from the cuffs and survive the ordeal. She also has to deal with hallucinations of Gerald and herself, who taunt her with her fears and secrets. She also has flashbacks of her childhood abuse by her father Tom, played by Henry Thomas. She also faces a real threat from a stray dog that feeds on Gerald's corpse and a mysterious figure that visits her at night. She eventually escapes from the cuffs by slicing her wrist open and slipping out of them. She then drives away from the house and crashes into a tree. She is rescued by a passerby and taken to a hospital. She learns that the figure was actually Raymond Andrew Joubert, played by Carl Strucken, a serial killer and necrophile who was stalking her. She confronts him in court and moves on with her life. The film is rated TVMA and is suitable for fans of psychological horror and thriller films. Here are the top 10 scariest dark horror movies in the world. These best horror movies of all time don't just want to haunt your nightmares, they want to sneak under your skin to haunt you in your waking moments too. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, check out other clips from Top 10 Movies Horror, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. Baby's coming! Rick! Ma'am, not cool calling me a Nazi. I don't know what struggle.